More trucks are coming. It's quite dodgy, isn't it? We don't know where we're going, but we're just following this lady. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> Is it the right word? I hope so. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to our tandem cycle touring series across Georgia. Last time saw us disassemble the bike, cover it in bubble wrap, cram it into two couple boxes and fly out to Tbilisi. Once there, we reassembled the tandem, headed out on a quick test ride, explored the city and joined in with a local cycling group. After more than two months completing the video editing from our previous tour in the UK, we were now definitely ready to load the tandem back up and finally hit the road. All right, heavy bike, very heavy bike. I suspect it's about 70 kilos. We're ready to go, aren't we? <laughs> Just about. We've been working too much yeah. and working in front of the screen for too long. Yes, <laughs> far too many, far too many hours in front of the screen. You think it's all fun and cycling, but it's not. It's, it's a lot of work. Okay, my dear, are you ready to rise? Yes. Ready to see some Georgia? <laughs> yes. It's going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hope so. It's going to be hilly. Yeah. That's, that's for sure. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. Wow. Uh oh, sorry. Yeah, no, no, it's just me. It's me. Wow, this is impossible to control. The weight, coupled with a pretty severe first climb, initially made it a real challenge to keep the bike straight. Oh. Sorry, stopping. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Shall we? Yeah, sorry. Push I up couldn't. there. No, I want to try that again. I was just trying to adjust stuff. Yeah. Let From me... here, I don't know if we can do we that. We can, we can. Okay. Let me just, just scoot it. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, two one. one. Let's do it. Oh, fuck. Push hard, push hard, push hard. Push, fuck, fuck, fuck. push hard. <laughs> <laughs> wobble, wobble, wobble. Just even pressure, even pressure. We got it. Oh my goodness. So what exactly was the plan? Ultimately, our aim for this trip was to reach the Black Sea on the west of the country. Now, if we really wanted to, we could take the most direct roads and arrive at the sea in less than two weeks. But that wasn't really the point. One of the main reasons we'd come out to Georgia in the first place was to travel some of its dramatic mountain roads. So we devised a much more wiggly route through the country. Here's our rough plan for the first section of the tour. Ride north, away from Tbilisi, into the region of Muxeta, along what's dubbed the Georgian-Russian Military Road. This would guide us up into the hills, through a town called Stepatsminda, and ultimately to the Russian border. After checking out what there was to see up there, we'd turn around and shoot back down to the capital. After that, we'd head off towards the Black Sea, but we'd worry about those specifics later. What exactly we'd find in Muxeta, we didn't know, but the mountainous region seemed like an intriguing place to check out. So we pointed the bike north and continued pedaling. It's getting colder. It is, yeah. Good. Where's this water coming from? <laughs> They're washing stuff. Uh huh. Big truck. It's huge, actually. The plight of the cycle tourer is that the world is designed for the motor car, not the bicycle. So, very often when traveling through large cities, you're forced to pick pretty sketchy highways. Tbilisi was unfortunately no exception and escaping it was unpleasant, to say the least. Ah! You doing okay back there? No! Oh! Can, you, can you go on the table? Too much? Yes. It's quite dodgy, isn't it? When we were coming down the hill, it felt fine to be on the road, but now it's flattened out. It seems, yeah, it would be dangerous, I think. It's a good call. I've done 17 miles today. Did pretty well. 
That's some busy roads at the end there, weren't they? It My really goodness. Stressful. It was stressful, actually. Oh, I almost cried. I was like... You did so well. We're off the big road for a little bit. We'll be joining a busy road in a bit, I think. But I think most of this traffic is going to Batumi. It's going west across the country. We're going north, so we should miss out a lot of that traffic. But just this section is just everyone's going yeah. the same way. Oh, he's cute, isn't he? Hey, you. Okay. The sheer quantity of stray dogs is a big issue in Georgia. And this chap certainly wouldn't be the last we'd meet on our trip. Want to go on an adventure? After lunch, we noticed a small track running parallel to the highway. We would eventually have to rejoin the main road in about seven miles, but for the time being, it seemed like a much less stressful alternative. How are you dealing with the track, Ashal? It's all right. My suspension set is actually helping me a lot, so that's good. Uh, all the time I'm asking you to use it so that we don't fall in the puddle. <laughs> we won't fall but, in the puddles. Yeah. I'm taking it easy. Yeah. It's... No, I prefer this rut a lot than the big ones. <laughs> Do we just go through? Yes, I think we go through. Wow, well done. There we go. Now I stuck. <laughs> bye, bye bye. It was kind of fun though, wasn't it? <laughs> But it's nice to be back on the paved, paved road. road. Oh, it feels amazing. This is about seven miles of like. <laughs> this is glorious. This looks fabulous. We'd made it just over 30 miles in total. Not a huge amount, but it was honestly just reward enough to get back cycling. The large trunk road out of Tbilisi had been a bit touch and go. But as we pushed off down a quiet lane and found an overgrown spot in which to spend the night... Yeah, it looks nice. We were both feeling optimistic for the adventure that lay ahead. Good morning. I don't think I've slept so deeply for a long time. We went to bed at just after nine and we woke up at about seven, 7.30. Oh, there's the sun, first, first ray of sun in the morning, Ashala. It looks beautiful. How's do you sleep? Quite bad, actually. Oh, no. My knees were hurting the whole night. <laughs> oh, no. Hopefully that passes. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it's just... Oh, Pretty yeah. low. Some exercise. Literally, the sun just came over the, the hill there. It's beautiful, actually. Yeah. Let's find some food, eh? Yeah, that direction. <laughs> da <-dum. laughs> nice. Breakfast at a roadside cafe was a filling mix of tomato and cucumber salad, mushroom stuffed dumplings called hinkali, and lobiani, the bean pastry thing that was very quickly becoming our favourite Georgian food. <laughs> We'd now rejoin the highway up to the Russian border, and we certainly weren't alone. More trucks are coming! End-to-end, -end, parked up on the verge, were hundreds of lorries waiting to carry their goods into Russia. Bearing in mind that we were still over 100 miles away from the border, this was one monster of a queue. We found out that some of these truckies had been waiting over three days to get in. Madness. And the reason for it? 
simply that Russia currently wasn't allowing any trucks to pass through on Sundays. We continued up this road, but with loud vehicles whizzing past and with nowhere to escape to the right, it made very unpleasant riding. At the moment I'm feeling fine, but before it was crazy. And I don't know what is going to be ahead. So much so that we started to consider an alternative route. Okay, so we made a bit of a change of plan. Originally, we were going to take this road, which goes all the way to the Russian border. But we've realized that it's just far too busy, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, it's not, ah. Are we, yeah, we're taking this turning, yeah? Okay, <laughs> that is fortuitous. We're taking this road. Bye-bye busy road, hopefully this one's quieter. So this one um, also goes up to the mountains. It also goes north, but I think the road quality is worse but it should be much quieter and it doesn't really go anywhere. It just goes up to far villages of Georgia. It doesn't cross into Russia. So there's no through traffic here. Wow, look at this. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Whoa. Is it the right road? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> there's a bridge there I think we're taking. Yeah, okay. it is, it is. Oh my gosh, that's <laughs> Whoa. Yee -hoo. We were almost immediately reassured that our route choice was a good one when, in the next village, we met a lady who told us just to stay put for one second. <laughs> oh, wow. Mad Lobos, what's your about, Sean? Goodness gracious. It's a heavy one, eh? <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna make us struggle up these hills. Mad lover. 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 We now have about 15 apples to deal with. <laughs> well, we'll be set for our fruit intake for a while, won't yeah. we? My yeah. goodness, that was lovely. That was very lovely. <laughs> By now, we'd reached the Zin Valley Reservoir. This picturesque lake was built in the 80s by the Soviets to help serve the growing population of Tbilisi. It's so beautiful, especially all the seals just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Watching the heavy trucks rumble past on the opposite bank, we smugly pushed onwards, enduring none of the traffic, but all of the views. Dog. Right. Is it a dog? No, oh. it's, a pig. it's a pig. Hey, hey. <laughs> a little piglet, Jeez, a huge big pig. One. Big one. <laughs> yeah, George has been pretty handy so far with these little streams which you can just fill up fossils from. Generally, you have to like ask it places, but if there's little taps, it makes it quite easy, doesn't it? Yeah, it's good. It's good, George, right, actually. Yeah. Hey, take a duck. Hey, take a duck. It's good hearty food, doesn't it? When you yeah. just want like a lot, and you need mm -hmm. a lot of calories, it's really, very good. And yeah, working our way through the apples as well that we were given today. <laughs> Massive bag of them. <laughs> yeah? Leaving the reservoir, the nose of the tandem noticeably began tilting upwards, and pedalling became stiffer. The mountains were now definitely upon us, but we felt ready for them.
Jangan mau coba. Jangan mau coba. Hello, hello. Hello. So it's getting late. It's getting late right now, and we are probably searching for a place to camp. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Wow, look at this, it's like a tear. <laughs> Do we have anything else? No, Is that it's... it. Yeah. Bin. Cows. Okay, okay. This is campsite number two. <laughs> Wild camp number two. Lovely. <laughs> yeah, you can definitely feel. The air has changed. It's yeah. definitely getting colder. You sort of feel the cold mountain air, especially we're pretty much right next to the river as well. Yeah. It's always colder by rivers. Our camping routine generally went as follows. Together, we'd work to lay out and pitch the tent. And then when I was beginning to prepare food, Ashola would organize the bedding. Yeah, I have to start timing myself. I want to do it like in less than five minutes. Grab the mats. Blow the air. Get the sleeping bag. Nice. Here it is. It always amazes me just how quickly the landscape can change while traveling by bicycle. Just two days prior, we were battling our way out of the country's largest city. And now, up in the hills, the only traffic jams we faced came in the form of cattle. The impromptu route we'd chosen, so far, seemed like a good one. And as we ate dinner and headed to sleep, we both looked forward to seeing what exactly might lay ahead. Cool. Cool beans. Yeah. Right. Three, two, one, let's do it. Ah, ah nice. Oh, yeah, you definitely feel your, your bum, don't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> My bum is aching. Yeah, me too. But it's always like this in the mornings, especially when you sit on the saddle, it aches. And then after maybe 30 minutes, an hour, it's all right again. You kind of get back to it. How are the knees? It's good today, actually. Good. So we're following the Aragvi River. Yeah. Is that what you call it? And that flows into the reservoir that we saw yesterday. Just following it up on this gorgeous road. So we're going to Chatilly. Chatilly, here we go. It's 68 <laughs> kilometers, I hope? Or yeah, it's all, it's all in kilometers. What is it? <laughs> no. Very few countries are as weird as the UK and use miles. Chatilly was pretty much where this road terminated, and it was only 68 kilometers or 42 miles away. But with a pretty sizable mountain pass separating us and the town, we fully anticipated it taking us two days to arrive. But of course, speed wasn't really a concern for us. We weren't out here to break any records, but rather to take it slow and just enjoy exploring this wild corner of Georgia. Brad was chili ketchup. Very chili ketchup, actually. <laughs> it's spicy, isn't it? A few potholes. <laughs> okay, Koki, okay. I think this is where we lose our nice sealed road and exchange it for that unsealed mess. Um, and it looks like this is where the real climbing starts as well. So I think. This is where the adventure proper starts. That chap just said that in seven or eight kilometers, I think, it becomes sealed again. It becomes oh, nice. Spot. So I think we've got 
a little bit of bumpy, and then it gets better. Okay, we're just coming up to our first village that we've seen after the last like 10, 15 miles. And excitingly, it has a, it calls itself a K market, but it's just a, a shop. So we're gonna restock on some food, aren't we? Yes. Because we're in dire need of just, just some supplies. We didn't really take much out of Tbilisi because I wanted to keep the bike quite uh, light, but we're now realizing that we need kind of basics like pasta and snacks for the roads. We have bits and bobs, we're by no means out of food, but it would just be nice to get some more, especially as we're not confident how many shops there are gonna be past this point. Ah, it's there, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, stopping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's the Wait, let me see on the map. The track. No, really? Ah, yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, cool. Okay. We be walking then. Look at that. <laughs> slowly, slowly, slowly. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, hey. Gosh, kind of scary. There's the shop. The village was called Barasako, and as we'd figured, it did have the last shop we'd see in quite a while. Yeah, it's a good job we checked the map actually, because we would have easily gone past that, wouldn't we, that track. <sighs> okay, should we see what they have then? Yeah. Come on, job. The owner seemed slightly bemused by our arrival, but quietly helped us stock up. Um, macaroni. Uh, yes, like pasta. <laughs> Macaron, macaroni, uh, spaghetti. Macaroni, aliso. 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 From the outside, the shop was pretty unassuming, but it housed almost everything we would need. Some peanuts? Yeah. Yeah, why not? From a kilogram bag of pasta to an array of Lay's crisps, we slowly built up quite the haul on the counter. Oh, Doritos. I see you. I see you. Their selection of fruit and veg was perhaps a little limited, but we picked up a bunch of peppers, carrots and onions, which would be more than enough to see us through the next few days. Good. So now all of this needs to go on there. That's going to make our already very heavy bike even heavier. <laughs> so these are covered peanuts and some kind of mm. caramel sugar. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 That's so good. Mm. <laughs> Should have got more of those. While we were sitting there enjoying our new favourite snack, we met a lazy who beckoned us further into the village. We don't know where we're going, but we're just following this lady. <laughs> this lady came up to us and said, hey, do you want to buy some socks? We're like, yeah, well, why not? So we're now we're just following her. I'm hoping it's not too far up this hill. My yeah. goodness. I got this. She's got a bag. Uh -huh, they are all Wooden ones, yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, they're quite nice, aren't they? Beautiful. Uh -huh. Oh, I like the green one. Uh I -huh. super uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. 
Как вас зовут? Нателя. Нателя. Светлана по-русски. Нателя. 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 Ладно, ладно. My feet were freezing at night, <laughs> and when I was wearing my socks, it was even cold. Yeah. So, yeah. Ah, no. right. yeah it's down, <laughs> down here, isn't it? Three. Past this dog. Hey, diggy dog. And you wanted this sock, so I wanted this sock. I'm pretty happy. Very good. With our food supplies restocked and our new woolen socks packed, we felt ready to continue. And with every extra meter that we climbed, the scenery was only getting prettier. Yeah, my job. Chatili, da. So we're leaving the river now. We're leaving the river. Aragvi. Aragvi. And now we're going to head up towards Chatilly. And it looks like the road gets worse. I think for good now. It is just after six. It will be dark in about 45 minutes. And we are pushing the bike <laughs> because our energy levels have just absolutely plummeted. But there's a, a little village called Bisso, uh, about half a mile up this road. So we're gonna push to there and see if we can find somewhere to pitch the tent. Okay, we'll find somewhere here. Yeah. We'll find some patch. We'll probably be in view of the road, but it doesn't matter. Well, I'll see on the map. Yeah. Uh-huh. Ah, yeah, okay. God, so quickly that mountain is amazing. <sighs> Majestic, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, let's just stop here. <sighs> We're definitely not going any further today. It's just a question of where we can camp. Bisso turned out to be a very small village indeed, consisting of just two houses. With such vertical terrain, camping spots were sparse. There's not much flat land, is there? There's a house down there. Down there. That might be our best bet. So we decided the best thing to do was wander down to the house below the road and ask if we could stay somewhere on their land. Yes, it was this one. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't click away. If you want to watch the whole series and you want to watch the whole thing right now, the next episodes than you can right now on Vimeo. Uh, I've recently reduced the price, so it's, uh, yeah, now that two episodes are out on YouTube, I felt like it was only right. Uh, alternatively, if you don't want to pay for the whole series and you just want to watch the next episode, then that is available right now on my Patreon. Um, and of course, this is the part in the video where I want to thank everyone who's supporting on the third tier of the Patreon. And this is the last time I'm going to read out the names. I'm still going to keep the names at the end of these videos, so if you want to sign up and have your name written at the end of the video as a, as a supporter, then you can go and do that. But this is the last time that I'm going to thank uh, everyone on the third tier who's been supporting. So thank you very much. Almas Kengis, Brad Allen Armstrong, Brett St. Pierre, Carsten Dilly, Christopher Janssens, Craig Piper, Elijah Legander, Gaia de Navaya, Gary Hull, 
Jerry Borchard, Jordan Pilling, Joseph and Rebecca Chivers, Michael and Jen Wolfendale, Monkey the Cat, Neil Brooks, Philip Merritt, Sharon Chong, Stephen Jones, Tony and Kiki, Warren Snyder and Wolfie. Uh, and I just want to take a second just to say, yeah, if you have supported on the third tier on Patreon over the last couple of years that I've been reading out the names, just thank you very much. Um, I will miss saying them. <laughs> okay, I will see you next time in two weeks for the next episode on YouTube. Uh, but if you can't wait before then, then you can either watch the next one right now on Patreon or pay for the whole series and watch everything uh, over on Vimeo. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.